let me explain something to you guys. You only have so much energy in your life. You only have so much focus in your life. You only have so much ability in your life to choose what you're going to do and what you're going to be and what your identity and your self image is going to be. And when you choose to be one of these victims who thinks there's an Olympics out there for the saddest motherfucking story, that means you have no room to move forward. You have no room for dreams. You have no room for aspirations. You have no room for the actions that lead to those aspirations because you're so busy filling your mind with the bad shit that's happened to you already in life that you have zero chance moving forward. Explain how that makes sense. Okay, we live in a backwards culture where victim mentality is celebrated, but that shit will eventually keep you from getting the life that you actually want. That's the shit that's gonna keep you from moving forward, to keep you from focusing on what you could be rather than what's actually happened to you in the past. You get one or the other. You can look forward or you can look backwards, but you can't look both ways at the same motherfucking time. And so many of you guys have got enamored and sucked into this victim culture where we brag about the bad shit that's happened to us and we talk about all this help we need over here and how flawed we are. Motherfucker, we're all flawed. You don't think every motherfucker out there has a sad story of some sort? Everybody has hard shit they gotta go through. There's not a single motherfucking successful person on this planet that hasn't gone through their version of really fucking hard shit. So what's it gonna be, man? Are you going to sit there for the rest of your fucking life and talk about all the hard shit that's happened? Because, motherfucker, I got a list a mile long. Learn what you need to learn from the things that have happened to you and move the fuck on. This is why you're not progressing. You're so enamored by the instant gratification of likes and shares and attention that you get for telling your sad story. And that doesn't leave any room for you to actually plan out, visualize, think about the great shit in life that you could be creating because you're too busy worried and focused on shit that you can't change. How does that serve you? How does that help you? What does that do for your future? What does it do for your future family? We have been conditioned to tell ourselves that our story is debilitating that our hardships are the reason that we can't be what we want to be when in reality the hardships that we've had are actually the things that teach us to have the skills and the thoughts and the perspective we need to actually become what we want to be if you had to choose between having a perfect upbringing and having an upbringing that was extremely hard you should choose the one that was hard because it's preparing you if you have the right perspective for what life is actually like. So instead of spending all your time telling yourself this fucking story of how you can't move forward because you're this and this and this and this, you are selling yourself into victimhood. You are costing yourself your entire potential. I've been through some shit, okay? All of those things, every single one of them, served me in some way. It taught me something, something that I use every single day. Once you flip your perspective from being a fucking victim to being someone who overcomes shit, now you start to understand why it's so fucking aggravating. All the championship stories, all the awards, all the accolades, all the riches, all the fucking glory, goes to people who overcome shit. Not whine about the same motherfucking shit for 10 years straight on the fucking internet. You will never get where you want to go playing the victim.